Hi Mrs. Grace. I am Dr. Luke. Welcome to our Digital Health Services Clinic. How can I help you today? Hi Dr. Luke. Last time, we talked about how my blood pressure should dip at night. Can you explain more about what's considered normal and what's not? Certainly. A normal nocturnal pattern, or dipping, means your blood pressure decreases by about 10 to 20% during sleep compared to daytime levels. It's a sign that your body is relaxing and recovering as it should. And what happens if it doesn't dip like that? If your blood pressure doesn't dip, it's called a non-dipping pattern, which can be a red flag for us. But there are other patterns too, like extreme dipping and reverse dipping. What's extreme dipping? That sounds a bit scary. Extreme dipping occurs when the nighttime blood pressure falls by more than 20%. It might sound good, but it can be risky, especially for the elderly, as it may affect blood flow to vital organs during sleep. And reverse dipping? Reverse dipping is when your blood pressure actually rises at night. It's the most concerning pattern and is strongly linked to increased risk of heart disease and stroke. How do you figure out which pattern I have? We analyze the data from your ambulatory blood pressure monitor to see how your levels change throughout the day and night. This helps us identify your specific pattern. Is there a way to change these patterns if they're abnormal? Yes, depending on the underlying cause, we can address it through lifestyle changes, adjusting your medication, or treating associated conditions like sleep apnea. This makes a lot of sense now. I'll make sure to follow your advice and keep monitoring my pressure. Here is a chart that will help you visualize the different patterns. It's important to understand these so we can manage your health effectively.